So this is some great results for the last three days. Not only I was able to get the Zigbee working on this uh, e-paper price tag, it uses this 88MZ100 microcontroller from Marvel, which is closed source overall. And I had luck reverting the Zigbee registers and getting the Zigbee completely to work and compile an own custom firmware for it. But now I also ported Dimitri's custom firmware fully to it. So not only does it have this simple GUI, it does also associate to this Zigbee station. It's talking here and you are what it is doing roundabout. So it's refreshing right now. And here we have the logs from the station, from the Zigbee station, which will then show as well what is happening. And here we got the power consumption, which is incredible low. Right now it is refreshing the screen, of course. And in a moment it will start to download the image. So it's now requesting it from the station. Like here we can see it and it's yeah, requesting the 700 pieces, which is about 60 kilobyte. It will then, after the upload, show it on the screen, of course. And from the power consumption, we can see that the screen is now refreshing. And also it starts here. And after this takes place, it will sleep for a few minutes, which can be set in the station firmware, which is, by the way, completely compatible to the smaller type. And yeah, after it's now sleeping, which you can see here, we see that the current uh, consumption is just like on a bare minimum with like four micro ampere and yeah in a while it wakes up again to re request it if i trigger it by resetting the soc we can see that it requests an image but it's the same that it has already so like you can see here it's just sleeping again and yeah so this is basically now a fully functioning firmware and even the over-the-air updates are fully working